I adore asparagus. So I'm making a dish called Taffy's Asparagus Penny. Taffy was my mother. We made this for her, my sister-in-law, one year for Mother's Day. And we make it every May since. It doesn't have to be on Mother's Day, obviously. You start with some olive oil and heat it till it shimmers. Then you add garlic and heat it till it starts to brown. Woo! I'm gonna turn that down a little. I have cooked my little pieces of asparagus just for a couple of minutes, just to get them al dente, because obviously they're cooking now. The amazing thing about truly fresh asparagus, which is what I'm using here, it's from a local farm, is that it doesn't take any time at all to cook. So I think I said in the recipe that you want to do this stage for a couple of minutes, but we're probably not gonna do it that long. We add a little pepper. If you want to, you can add salt, but frankly, Everything, the asparagus was cooked in salted water. There's salt and other stuff later. So I would just have salt on the table for your people, for your guests. I should warn you that I'm making only a half recipe. Then we have some cooked penne. Again, not cooked too long, just al dente because it's gonna cook in the pot. I mean, this is not an easy recipe. And we started with olive oil, now we're adding some butter, which gives us additional fat, of course, but also flavor. I cut it up into little pieces. You don't have to do that, but it helps. You can add another vegetable if you want to. Some broccoli would be lovely, but I just like the green and I adore asparagus. So we're gonna cook that just to heat everything through and melt the butter. And I'm gonna tell you a little tiny asparagus story. When I was a little girl, we spent one summer in Wisconsin while my father was finishing his doctoral dissertation. And we went to dinner many times at the home of one of his professors named Carl Bakeholt. And Carl and his wife, Julia, had a very, very extensive garden. And they had an enormous asparagus patch. So the first time we went over in June, he brought out this giant platter of asparagus. And he said, take as much as you like. Well, even then I was a girl who liked asparagus. So I just kept eating asparagus. And he gave me this look like sort of scientific inquiry, like is she going to turn green and explode? It was, it was very entertaining. And I was so happy and I didn't get sick even though I ate more asparagus than I ever had since in one city. So, I always think of the bay pulse and I always think of that happy time. Okay, so basically you can do a couple of things at this point. You can put this in a large bowl or you can put it in individual serving bowls. I'm going to just do an individual serving bowl to show you the next step. So good. This is for a person who doesn't have my appetite. And then we sprinkle on some freshly grated Parmesan cheese or cheese of your, uh, your Swiss would be nice. And you can do a lot. If you're serving a person who cannot imagine a meal without meat, you can see I have set to one side a little prosciutto, just sort of ripped up, little bits of bacon. And I could, you could have those on the table and people could throw those on top now. Or if everyone loves meat, you could add them earlier in the process. In any case, I kind of like it plain and I serve a lot of vegetarians, but Whatever you serve, don't forget the asparagus. Happy asparagus season.